The Government Accountability Office, GAO, is an independent agency in the legislative branch that helps Congress fulfill its legislative and oversight responsibilities. At the request of Congress or by requirements in legislation, GAO audits federal agencies and programs to assess how well they are working and their fiscal performance. Hello, I'm Gene Dodaro, Comptroller General of the United States and head of the GAO. GAO, often called the Congressional Watchdog, provides Congress, the heads of executive agencies, and the public with trusted analysis of government spending, programs, and operations. The timely, fact-based, nonpartisan information and analysis we provide can be a great resource to new members of Congress. Our work and recommendations are used to improve government and save taxpayers billions of dollars each year. In fiscal year 2017, for example, we returned 128 taxpayer dollars for every dollar of our budget. The breadth and scope of our work ranges across the entire government. Last year, we issued over 658 reports and testified before 45 different committees across Congress on a wide range of issues. I would like to stress that GAO can help you in multiple ways as you begin your term as a new member of Congress. As you assume your legislative responsibilities and committee assignments, our subject matter experts can bring you and your team up to speed on policy and management issues ranging from defense to disaster assistance. Wherever federal dollars go, GAO goes. So our expertise is broad. Our core values of accountability, integrity, and reliability are reflected in all of the work we do. We support congressional oversight by auditing agency operations to determine whether federal funds are being spent efficiently and effectively, reporting on how well government programs and policies are working as intended and on ways to improve government performance and accountability, performing policy analyses and outlining options for congressional consideration, and issuing legal decisions and opinions, such as rulings on federal contracting disputes, appropriations law, and reports on agency rules. Since 2002, GAO also has provided direct support to Congress in the area of technology assessment of emerging science and technologies. Currently, we are enhancing our technology and science function by creating a new, more prominent office within GAO to provide this service to members of Congress and their staff. While we issue a number of reports throughout the year, I would also like to draw your attention to two bodies of work in particular, both of which will be updated early in the 116th Congress. Our high risk list calls attention to agencies and program areas across government that are vulnerable to fraud, waste, abuse, and mismanagement, or are in most need of transformation. Our annual reports on duplication and cost savings also present opportunities to reduce fragmentation, overlap and duplication, and increase revenue for the federal government. Combined, the work highlighted in these reports has produced more than $400 billion in financial benefits. Members of Congress can request our work, and requests are accepted according to the priorities and our congressional protocols which emphasize committees' oversight and legislative responsibilities. We also offer a range of services to members and their staff, including access to experts, briefings on issued work, and quick turnaround support and technical briefings to get you and your staff up to speed on any issue we cover. Specific information for members of Congress and detailed instructions on how to work with GAO are available on the Watchdog website. We also have a website and mobile app to make it easy for members to access our reports and we make our work available on the social and digital media platforms that you and your staffers are already using, like Twitter and Facebook. And there is a special section of our website that focuses on recommendations GAO has made for changes across government. We look forward to working with you and continuing to help the Congress meet its constitutional responsibilities.